yesterday <coughs> we did the second module again in a line the first module was about how the lord has descended on this earth and is in our midst in the form of the hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare and next module we talked about how actually the lord is presenting himself we chant our with our material tongue and the lord incarnates into that material sound and then we hear that sound to hear the sound we need the mind and if we hear the sound with the mind then the sound would enter our heart and it will cleanse all the ignorance and enlighten us about who we are who is god everything so the challenge if we do not give attention to our chanting because mind is the carrier of attention from the soul if we don't train our mind to carry the attention energy from the soul to the nama who is before us nama prabhu who is before us then we are not the soul is not touching the nama so that the challenge that we left yesterday we ended with that that the real challenge is how to be attentive to hearing the hare krishna maha mantra and hearing is like a sound embrace just like you embrace somebody with your hands you embrace the sound with your attention and then purification ensues the holy name again to repeat the holy name is brilliant like a sun the sun of sachidananda radiating unlimited sat chit and ananda energy and it is this sachidananda mercy of the lord that actually makes us our sachidananda isis our soul when you are separated from the lord we are like a piece of iron but when you are in touch with the fire of sachidananda we become fire like we develop our original sachidananda quality now we just talk today about how to train the mind means how important it is to train the mind to provide attention between the soul and the nama that is on our ears does that necessarily mean that if the mind is trained and the mind is disciplined it solves all the problem or ultimately is it that just if, because if i train my mind to give attention to the nama on my ears will i get bhakti is that everything so i want to caution the devotees that even though we will be talking a lot about training the mind we should know that the training and disciplining the mind has its limited role in making us associate with the holy name ultimately japa is a relationship japa is a relationship 
Japa is not a process. Please remember this. But for a beginner, Japa is also a process. It is a process because if you don't follow that process, not following the process can obstruct our association with the Lord. A disciplined mind cannot give you bhakti. Only doing japa from the depth of our heart will give us bhakti. But the undisciplined mind has got the poten potential to obstruct our bhakti. Therefore, we see that it's just like, you know, a, a, a negative barrier is our uncontrolled mind. But the real bhakti is, we, it has to flow from the heart. Devotees have to give different, different uh, soul energies to the holy name. And then only, you know, there is reciprocation from the Lord. So the attention that we give is just a connection. After we get connected to the Lord, then it depends on your relationship with the Lord. So attention connection is just how to appear, how, how to be before the Lord, how to reach before the Lord. Then between the Lord and the devotee, there is so many different soul energies that we give, like preeti, like desire to please him, huh? and offering our, without break, um, in other words, you know, uninterruptedly offering our seva without diverting ourselves from any, any into any other direction. So this is our, this, these are all the things that finally that builds a relationship with, with the holy name. So therefore, in summary, I want to say that don't get obsessed with processes and don't get obsessed with mind skills. But you have to know it has a place, it has a role to play because we are now covered with our material mind. Material mind's cooperation is very important for the soul to build a relationship with the holy name. Especially, you see what happens, anything that we do on a daily basis, it creates a habit in us. Unconsciously we are making, suppose we are eating every day, automatically you don't have to make a habit out of it. It will, it will become a habit. Similarly, if I am chanting five years inattentively, it has become a habit. What is a habit? Inattentive chanting has become a habit. So this is this is the most this you, we have to understand this. I do something wrongly every day, day after day after day, it becomes a habit. Afterwards, I want to do something the right way, it becomes a very big challenge. The mind is simply a learner. It will learn good or bad habit. It will learn whatever you teach, it will learn. And after it learns, it will not leave you. It will go on, you know, like a parrot, it will go on chanting the same thing. Because mind is, as I said, mind is the wheeler of or transporter of all our soul energies. Soul energies like desiring, soul energy is like, like loving, soul energy is loving energy, soul energy like determination. So all these things, devotion, these are all transported by the mind. So if it has got a wrong habit of while I am doing japa, it it takes my desiring somewhere else, I am planning something else, my thinking something else, then it is an obstruction for my relationship with the Lord even though He has come before me. So Japa is a relationship, Japa is also a process and more of a relationship as we move forward, less of a process as we advance.
in the beginning yes it's more of a process because we have to change our mind japa habits wrong japa habits so this there should be some fear in this that if i do something wrongly it is going to be repeated so therefore i have to be very very careful that i don't have i don't create wrong japa habits so um as i said there are japa is a relationship what is the relationship you have to understand the relationship is there are three three components to any relationship one is the relationship one who is receiving the service he is called savior in a japa the savior is the sound incarnation of the lord nama prabhu in japa the sevaka the one who is serving is called sevaka and that is the chanter and the seva is a process of service what chanting and hearing and tasking this is a service that we are offering to the holy name this is a seva so japa is a relationship of the sevak with the sevya through the process of seva so that we should always remember that three components are there when you are doing japa usually when we think japa is a process we completely forget sevya that there is somebody who is receiving your service then it becomes mechanical and impersonal and that's how if we have if we have chanted for years together without sevya in the picture then very difficult unless you train your mind to change that way of chanting there is one one quote of prabhupad which i will read out there is no mechanical process to see the form of the lord or completely if it completely depends on the causeless mercy of the lord we cannot demand the lord to be present before our vision just as we cannot demand the sun to rise whenever we like the sun rises out of his own accord so also the lord is pleased to be present out of his causeless mercy one should simply await the opportune moment and go on discharging his prescribed duty in devotional service of the lord narada muni thought that the lord could be seen again by the same mechanical process which was successful in the first attempt but in spite of his utmost effort he could not make the second attempt successful the lord is completely independent of all obligations he can simply bound up he can simply be bound up by the tie of unalloyed devotion nor is he visible of perceivable or perceivable by our material senses when he pleases being satisfied with the sincere attempt of devotion service depending completely on the mercy of the lord then he may be seen out of his own accord so just see ultimately we are relating with the lord material attempts will not necessarily give us the lord material attempts is required in other words whatever effort we have to put with our mind with our body all these things we have to do but it doesn't guarantee that at the end you will have the result because result of relationship with krishna result of a relationship of service is is a gift given by him so ultimately if we have to give up a mechanical chanting and develop natural chanting then we need the mercy of the lord that we have to remember so as i said it's ultimately japa is very personal very loving and a reciprocal activity between the sevaka and the sevya even though we are there is a lot of stress in the beginning about the process the reason why i am cautioning this is because we have to be while i am going to talk lot about process please do not reduce japa to be a perfection of a process ultimately it is a perfection of devotion devotion comes from the heart at the same time we have to be they remove all the obstacles that our our um, 
mind brings due to our conditioning. So there are back in the in do, while doing japa, there are some things uh, in the foreground and background. Foreground is in front of the background and background is behind the foreground. This concept of background and foreground is something we all regularly practice. Our, our mind works in that particular way by a combination of foreground and background mind. For instance, now you are listening to what I am speaking. Now what I am speaking is what your foreground mind is or your conscious mind is holding on to. Your, your conscious attention is in the foreground mind. You are listening to what I am saying. But at the same time, though you are not conscious, in the background mind, you are very much aware that who is the speaker. In the background, you are very much aware what is the purpose of this process of, you know, hearing the speaker? So that is, all these things are in the background. The different feelings that are there, all your expectation, hopes, everything in hearing the speaker, it is all in the background. But in the foreground is the actual process of chanting and hearing. So during Japa also, for instance, the Lord is on my tongue is a background knowledge. It has to be there in the background. This also is a practice. The moment the chanting of Hare Krishna, you chant Hare Krishna, the background consciousness comes. Yes, it's the Lord. I am before Lord is before me. How does these things happen? This I'm just saying this is a way it should be. But how to make it happen is a different. I have not come to it. Just because you know that it should be like that, you should have background feelings. You should have background knowledge. You should have background purpose, intent, desire. All these are required in the background. Only then your chanting in the foreground will achieve a certain quality and meaning. Meaning to an activity in the foreground is received from the background. For instance, Japa. We will slowly develop one by one. But just to tell you, just to give you an idea is what all things are required in the background when you do Japa and what all effort you have to put in the foreground. For instance, I have in module 3, I have listed those things. Offering being energy. Being energy means what? Bhavan Shakti. That means you have to be in the mood of a sevaka. I am servant of the holy name. That servant identity, that servant ego, that has to be there in the background. That means that, that has to be loaded into the background from your subconscious mind. You are after all a devotee of the Lord. So you already have that feeling that I am the servant of the Lord. But at the time of Japa, yes, I am the servant of the holy name, has to be has to be there in the background. We have to be trained. We have to train ourselves. Because once the, the, uh, the ego is right, if you have the right ego, then the right desire, right purpose, right intent, everything that ego will manifest. Then that ego has to have knowledge. Huh? Who has knowledge? I am the servant of Krishna means I have knowledge that who is my master? Krishna is my master. I am his eternal servant. And through this japa process, I am serving him. So jnana, there has to be background jnana. Then there is shraddha, that is also in the background. You have to have faith because the Lord is on my tongue, you are not, you are, you are not seeing with your eyes. You have no evidence. Lord has incarnated on your tongue, you have no evidence. It is only Shraddha from the Shastra. The Lord is very merciful. He enters through the ears the empowered sound Shakti Avesha Nama enters through the ear holes through my mind into my heart. 
is also a shraddha because ultimately what your senses tell you is it is an ordinary sound so shraddha is another another faculty another energy of the soul only soul can give shraddha so shraddha then there is an attitude you know an identity i am servant of krishna can i have different attitudes so the chaitanya mahaprabhu says one should chant with humility so attitude of humility attitude of servitude of course once you are the egoness that i am a serv servant of the lord the servitude at attitude automatically comes but then you need that humility i am the i am insignificant servant of the lord so like that so many f feelings are there has to be there in the background when we chant then need the love energy or preeti love means what the desire to please the loved one that means the lord is before me now so in the background i should have the desire to please him as much as possible that is what makes us be attentive he is pleased with if i give my attention to him he is pleased if i chant if i am giving me attention somewhere else that much is less pleased of course you are you are vibrating the his name is pleased and if you are chanting with devotion with faith then he is more pleased so the desire to please him is called love means one has to have a strong desire to please the loved one that is called preeti the bhagavad gita also krishna says bhajatam preeti purvakam that means service has to be rendered with preeti service has to be rendered with desire to please the holy name who is descended and who is right before you to please that personality mantra after mantra after mantra so that is preeti then atma nivedanam these are all multi complex feelings in the in the background which we have to develop atma nivedanam completely falling on to the lord surrendering to the lord hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare in the foreground you are attentively chanting and hearing but your heart with your heart you are just falling over the holy name complete surrender you are surrendering your existence what more is required god has come before me i have to simply throw my heart at his feet so that is atma nivedanam then there is in the background there is a constant anticipation and hope for the anukampam of the lord his kripa his causeless mercy anticipating and hopeful very very hopeful but the lord is so compassionate that he will he will he will take me out of this ignorant trap in this body he'll make me understand who really i am he'll free me from the suffering of this material world entanglement in this material world he'll give me attachment he'll give me detachment he will give me strength he will give me determination he will help me to associate with him so just see these are all the different kinds of things in the background how to do it is a different thing see just like i am sitting in in an office and there is a background environment which is created what is that for instance a air conditioner it is in the background and that background keeps me comfortable isn't it so the background just see just to control give a good temperature effect for my body a machine like air conditioning has been discovered how many people have have put their brains into it and they have found out and they have manufactured the machine and even today if i had to buy it i had i had to pay money and get it and 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 fit it in my room then i can have the comfort of a air conditioner 
in the same way all the different background items of spirit energies which i mentioned like bhavan shakti jnana shakti shraddha shakti bhavana shakti preeti shakti atma nivedana uh, and uh, kripa apeksha anukampam kripa apeksha this is all things these are the things that also does not come free these are all thought feelings that means behind each of this feeling there is a series of thoughts they are intertwined seamlessly connected a thought and a feeling just like if i am angry with somebody then there is a ang angry thought behind that is a source if i have to have humility there has to be a thought behind it not one thought a series of thought complex thoughts even if i have to feel i am the servant of krishna i have to have the egoness of being a servant of krishna then that also i need that right kind of thinking why i am and all those things so just see which means just like you know you have to spend money work hard pay for an air conditioner then you will can sit in the comfort similarly if you want good quality japa good quality is japa is also background consciousness is very very important for good quality japa so we will be discussing in this just like you know how to manufacture this air condition how to you know the science behind it all those things people have worked hard and therefore we are enjoying similarly our acharyas have already had all these realizations and they have told this should be the background consciousness with which one should offer the namat bhajana so we will be discussing you know along as we go along how we bring about this realize this uh, thought feelings or different uh, thought feelings that has to be in the background during chanting and what is in the foreground now in the foreground you have attention energy then you have to offer your free will ichcha shakti you have to have the spirit of sacrifice tapas shakti you have to have determination sankalpa you have to have negative determination to stop things which is vikalpa then you have to have effort put doing effort that is called chesta kriya chesta similarly you have to have you have to put a different kind of an effort to connect individual doing one one bead after one bead after one bead that is called tasking that is called karya chesta karya chesta means to do a work japa is actually a work not only an action but it is a work many action put together is is becomes a work so uh bring it here i don't read i can't read i'm so okay so one more. so ichcha shakti tapas shakti sankalpa shakti vikalpa shakti kriya chesta jnana chesta knowing effort knowing effort hearing is what hearing is a knowing chanting is a doing so you have to hearing means you have to put your know you cannot know anything else at that time you have to know the sound that is hearing then utsaha and delight ahlada these things we will take up one by one we will take up the different things how to prepare the background and how to offer all these soul energies in the foreground then that becomes a soulful japa so let's have some questions now please tell me about the volume of chanting can we whisper prabhupad says you should chant loud enough for you to hear so it should not be very loud it should not be you know whisper so that you don't you don't hear so it has to be loud enough to hear how can we check that our karmic reactions are being removed if we are chanting 16 rounds on a daily basis why you want to check 
You don't have faith. You have to have faith. And how much karmic reaction it has to be removed or not removed or kept or whatever it is, please understand it is not karmic reactions are removed. Does not mean that that you can, uh, we can, in other words, this kind of understanding, even though the holy name removes all the karma, bad karmic reactions, the devotee is in the hands of the Lord. So sometimes some karmic reaction may be good for bhakti. So why should Krishna, why should the holy name destroy that karmic reaction? He may say, let it come. He will depend more upon me. And that is very good. He will have more realizations. So devotee is not bothered about whether karmic reactions gone or not. Leave it. I got the shelter of the holy name. And whatever he wants to do, he will do with my karmic seeds of my karmic reaction. How do you say Shraddha, Preeti, etc. are faculties of the soul? Why not of the mind? Does it make a difference? Yes, mind is a shadow of the soul. The mind, because these are mind, first of all, you have to understand five gross elements and three subtle elements constitute material energy. Mind, intelligence and false ego, they are also material energy. Material energy means it does not have all these life-like qualities of Shraddha, Preeti, etc. So the origin of all these things is the soul. And as that's why I said, the mind is a transporter. Just because somebody is transporting, you think it belongs to him? Suppose a, a lorry brings 100 bags of rice to your doorstep. Isn't it wrong to think that the lorry it belongs to the lorry? No. It belongs somewhere else and the lorry just transported it. The same way it appears like that because it is, mind is delivering Shraddha, mind is delivering Preeti. But where did it get from? It is of the soul. If the soul doesn't give, mind cannot give. How can we enhance quality of pre-Japa contemplation so that at Japa time these things trigger in our mind automatically? You have to spend time the quality of quality of pre pre japa or uh, all the background items that i just now mentioned they all have to go into our subconscious mind if it has to go into a subconscious mind it has to go through the conscious mind it has to come into the conscious mind from shila prabhupada's books it has come to for, by associating with guru sadhu and shastra this transcendental knowledge has to get into us it has to go into our subconscious. It has to, that means that we have to learn how to associate with Guru, Sadhu and Shastra properly in order to send this into your subconscious mind. And then we have to contemplate and repeat the process. By repeated process, just like you see, when you give, let us say you're, you're, you have a newly born son, you give him one name. Let us say you give him one name called Anand or somebody. But the last four or five months, you are not used to calling him Anand. You don't associate. So next few days, you say Anand, 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 Anand. Immediately your son comes into your picture. Isn't it? So it has gone into your subconscious. So let's say after, after six months, you call Anand. It's even You are not even hearing the sound. As soon as you say Anand, your son is fully coming in before you. He is loaded on your background. So it takes time. So in the same way, the moment we say Krishna, he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. No one equal to or greater than him. These thoughts will come into the feeling. And these feelings will come into our, in the background. Supremacy of the Lord will come into our, like that. So you have to increase the quality of your association with Guru, Sadhu and Shastra. Submissively, in a descending process, we should receive it. If you don't understand something, what you read, Please understand this, whatever he said, he is 100% correct. And only I have to understand. And go on hearing again and again and again. And by Lord's mercy, 
that actual truth will be understood by us. Could you please share one or two incidents from your life that significantly strengthened your faith in the holy name? I can tell one thing. This temple at Hare Krishna Hill, Bangalore, the manifestation of this temple increased my faith in the holy name because it was practically an impossible thing in my understanding. At a time in the year 1991, when only few pillars were standing in the ground level, at that time I had not even made a full estimate. Whatever donors gave little money, I started. But then one day I sat down and calculated, okay, I got this many devotees, this much every month, this much money they are collecting, this much is required for maintenance. And then I did a balance calculation. Then I calculated how much the total cost of the project. Then I was surprised to find it would take me 60 years to build this temple. At that time, what came in my mind, looking at that early morning, I was chanting and I was on the rock. And I remember now also, okay, maybe this will not happen. 60 years it will take. If it happens, it is nothing but Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And it miraculously happened. In seven years it happened. So this one incident I can tell. Hundreds and hundreds of devotees, once they become attached to the holy name and they depend on the holy name, countless, every day is a reciprocation for the devotee. Every day is a reciprocation. How do I offer these energies, Jnana Shakti, Kriya Shakti, when I am doing? Because I focus on putting these energies while Japa. How do I focus on hearing the mantra? That is exactly why there is training required. All these Jnana Shakti, Kriya Shakti in the background, you don't have to do anything to offer that. It will automatically come and play. But for it to come and play, before Japa, you, would have, you should have worked on it. In other words, it's a one-time one effort. For instance, if you are thoroughly convinced Krishna means Supreme Personality of God, and every time before Japa, you don't have to go and feed your subconscious mind. You already got it. It will come. So therefore, you should not worry about any of the background items. Forcefully or, okay, let me give Preeti. Let me give this. No, don't worry. Preeti and all you prepare before. You spend time. The thought behind that Preeti. That you, you prepare. Shraddha. Before, the, read and develop the Shraddha. So these things are done pre-Japa. So that it does not disturb. It does not take your attention away from. You know, now consciously you are, you are chanting Hare Krishna. You have to give attention. And you are now... Only yesterday you heard, now you are, today you are telling, oh Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This, that, your attention goes away from the Shabda. Lord is before you. So, understand this concept of background and foreground. What is the effort we should put for background? It is all before our pre, off Japa time effort. During Japa time, yes, you have to put your effort to give attention, to give attention, you have to have, you have to give intention. Intention to touch the name of the Lord. So like this, there are certain items, all the foreground, foreground items, intention and delight. You have to give delight. That means you have to be happy. You have to happily chant. Not as a burden. So there are certain uh, you know, enthusiastically you have to chant. So these are some of the things that we need to, we, without disturbing. See, any, any feeling like delight will only help you attend, give attention more. So if it is something has become a feeling, it goes into the background. It does not disturb your attention. But if you are start thinking about it, then it will, it will distract your attention. Could you kindly explain about soul energies? 
So soul is a person. A person means, you know, just like God is a supreme person, we are also persons. So personal energies are coming from the soul. Desire, determination, love, faith. These are all soul and not. Unlimited, you just see, you, 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 you please take any work that you do and suppose you are completely absorbed in it. You observe what, all are, what are the things that the soul is releasing. That is all soul energies. And more about each of all those, it's, it's a very common sense, nothing new is being introduced. What is going on inside you, I am describing, that is all. Don't get bewildered by all these different kinds of names that I have given. Language is required to point out what is what. Okay, and please read uh, read uh, module 3 to understand, uh, you know, more about the soul energies. And then, of course, as you go along, we will more and more elaborate on all these things. What is mood of Sevaka? Should we tell ourselves I am servant of the Lord 10 times a day to install the feeling on the background? How to develop it? Very good. Do it before Japa time. Whole day you go on telling. Why 100 times? Why 10 times? 100 times you tell. Language is very powerful. Shabda is very powerful. That will go inside. The thought will go into your background. Repeated contemplation is one of the definitely a process for developing the background feelings. Even bad person who want to plant bomb will have determination. Then how it can be told as power of the soul? Why? That is a misuse of the power of the soul. Why are we in this material world? Because desiring power, determination power, loving power, we are all misusing that. It's all meant for Krishna, for the super soul. So that is why law of karma is acting because they are responsible for their action. What preparation are required to have the readiness of background for Japa? What preparation? As I said, you have to read. And hear Srila Prabhupada's books. Without that, that is why you cannot chant the, the holy name in, in good quality if you don't read Srila Prabhupada's books. Okay? Right. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. We'll see you tomorrow. Hare Krishna, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any updates.